Hi, this time I'm working on a very exciting project. I'll be automating a mineralization tank. This tank will be installed in my main uh, aquaponics system. I'm hoping to actually uh, recycle and save most, if not all, of the water that right now I'm discarding from the radio flow filter that goes to waste. And this is important to me because right now I'm using uh, 40.6 liters of water every uh, day. That's a lot of water to be actually going to waste. So with the mineralization tank, I can actually uh, recycle that water and break down the solids into nutrients. So I ended up with a nutrient rich water that I can feed it back to the main fish tank. So the mineralization process, it's quite complex, but you know, s s making it simple, well, you have your be beneficial bacteria in here on the mineralization tank. They, uh, they do the nitrogen cycle, and because you're adding uh, lots of oxygen, that nitrogen cycle gets very efficient. The, beneficial bacteria, bacteria thriving here so you you got a very efficient way to actually uh, convert that waste that so those solids back into nutrient break down into nutrient and those nutrients can be absorbed by the plants so it's a very efficient way to recycle water and recycle uh, waste Alright, so now I'll be showing you how the basic automation will go. Keep in mind that the actual uh, process will take much longer. Just doing a summarized version here. Everything starts with the radio flow filters pump, uh, shooting water and solids into the mineralization tank. Let's say 20 liters at a time. The controller then detects that there's enough water in here there will be a level sensor in this tank as well as in the saddle tank so it can it can detect that there's water in here it turns on the air compressor so the mineralization process can start the beneficial bacteria can do the nitrogen cycle here it's all happening here because there's a lot of oxygen this this uh, mix of water solids is actually bubbling Let's say that the radio flow filter shoots more water, more 40 liters, and this process continues until it reaches, let's say, 80 liters. Let's say that 80 liters is a, a threshold value for the controller, so after this, thresh, this threshold is reached, the controller can now turn off the air compressor so it momentarily it stops the mineralization process so the solids can precipitate can settle on the bottom of this mineralization tank the controller uh, now starts to monitor the turbidity using a turbidity sensor that's installed in here when uh, the turbidity uh, goes down a bit when the water is clear clear enough to be transferred the transfer pump is turned on. Let's say that the controller uh, has a setting to actually transfer 40 liters. So 40 liters here, 40 liters here. Pumps now turn off. And the controller starts the mineralization process all over again. Right now, this tank is at 40 liters, also has a level sensor. When it reaches reaches 80 liters, will actually allow water back, to, back into the system to be fed back to the fish tank. But right now, let's start this process again. So more water from the radio flow filter and once again it reaches 80 liters again so it turned off the air compressor 
solid saddle, water is clear, transfer pump is engaged and we have this tank at 80 liters now. Well, controller turns off the transfer pump, starts your compressor again because there's water here and now the threshold threshold for the saddle and temporary tank this is just a storage tank where the water can uh, get crystal clear so it has to actually transfer water back to the fish tank feed water back because it has reached this threshold so controller turns on the return pump let's say uh, has a setting to actually transfer 60 liters, program to transfer 60 liters so the level drops to 20 turns off the return return pump so now this controller actually uh, transferred uh, uh, nutrients rich water back to the fish tank, back to the plants, back to be beneficial to the actual uh, aquaponics system and the cycle can uh, start from let's say zero so the loop uh, starts all over again water gets in eventually water gets to this saddle tank, this temporary tank and back to the fish tank so it will be a very efficient way to do it uh, and like I said everything will be automated right now I'm starting the, uh, the automation uh, next I'll be showing how it's how it's uh, I'll be uh, implemented in the hardware and software level okay so this is how the system will look like once again I'm using uh, no components CPU card, ESP32, just the way I, I do on my control panels but this time I'll be adding a graphic display I won't be needing uh, any keypad or external EEPROM or even a real-time clock so only this graphic display that uses port 2, port 1 will be dedicated to an input output card same one that I've used before the triac one so I'll have seven inputs seven analog inputs and seven outputs right now the this system is actually running uh, another task it's actually reading uh, temperature and humidity that's something that we that will be keeping because there's room for both things, the mineralization automation and actually keep track on the temperature and humidity on my site so this is the sensor that I'm using temperature and humidity I got a very nice gauge here one for, for each reading and on the computer on the server side here's the uh, web page that's running on the ESP32 so those two those two values are for the simple weather station this one right here I'll be adding a pressure sensor in the future uh, bar meter probably this part here is for the mineralization automation of course the project is I've just started so there's a lot of code to be done I still need to assemble the uh, input output uh, module and fix it to a control panel, so it fix to a, a panel actually. So this will be part one. I, give, I just gave you guys uh, a view of the entire system, how it's going to work. There's a lot to be done, so part two will come out will come out soon. Thanks for watching.